Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Dev and the Beta channels, which is yet another Windows 11 25 H2 preview build. In this video, we are talking about the build 26220.7344. As I've said, for both the Dev and the Beta channels, keep in mind that you can still switch from the Dev channel to the Beta channel if you want to do so by going into Windows Update, then Windows Insider program. And here, because the window is still opened, you can switch from the Dev channel to the Beta channel. This won't be available for too much longer so of course make up your mind and see what channel you want to continue on so in this video of course we're going to talk about everything that is new in this build and if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe the tech based channel with notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with a video first of all microsoft is announcing the public preview of native support for mcp on windows basically mcp comes from model context protocol which is an open standard that gives ai agents a universal way to connect with apps, tools, and services. And as part of this release, two agent connectors are built into Windows, File Explorer, and Windows Settings. Related to the File Explorer, agents can use the File Explorer connector to manage, organize, and retrieve local files on a user's device with their consent, with additional features for Copilot Plus PCs. And related to the Settings app, on Copilot Plus PC devices, Windows Settings connector lets users check, change settings, or navigate directly to specific pages such as display, mouse, keyboard, and sound using natural language. A quick change related to quick machine recovery that can be found inside settings, system, and then scroll down a bit to recovery. And then you're going to have here quick machine recovery. This will be automatically turned on for Windows professional devices that are not domain joined. Microsoft is also adding something new, which is called UOP or Update Orchestration Platform. This is related to apps in Windows. And basically, this will make app updates more consistent and predictable with fewer interruptions. Insiders will begin to see a new page in settings, apps, and then app updates updates where they can check update progress and take action if needed. So far, no apps utilize this platform, but apps will start using it over time and will start to show up here. Microsoft is also announcing the highly anticipated production release of Windows MIDI services, which is basically a new experience for musicians using MIDI 1.2 or 2.0. More information about this will be available on Microsoft's official blog post. One new change that Microsoft is adding in this build is related to the open with app integration. So if you have a file that doesn't have an app that can open it, whenever you're going to right click on it and then open with or just double click on it, you're going to notice that on this new menu, Microsoft will automatically recommend you an app from the Microsoft Store that can open up that file that you don't have an app for. I think this is something useful, let's say, at least partially, but this highly depends on what apps Microsoft will recommend from the Microsoft Store. Of course, I have here a .md file, but you can go ahead and play around with other file formats and see what apps Microsoft will recommend to you. Also, as I've said in yesterday's video, Microsoft has now added some bits that are hidden related to the new round box. And if you go to settings, system, and then in the advanced section, you're going to notice this new option, run dialog, use the modern run dialog when pressing win plus R. Unfortunately, this is not working yet. So even if I were to enable it, if I press win plus R, nothing will happen because this is for now broken as it is still in the development stage. But I think it's pretty nice that we'll soon be able to see the new modern run dialog in Windows 11 25H2. Now talking about some fixes in this build related to search, Microsoft fixed a recent issue which could cause the search window to unexpectedly start floating above the taskbar. Related to the file explorer, if there are no available or enabled AI actions, this section will no longer show in the context menu. So for certain apps, it will no longer show, for example, archives, and of course for images, it will show up in the file explorer. And Microsoft also fixed an issue where file explorer might not search certain SMB shares after the latest updates. Related to Windows Hello, Microsoft fixed an issue resulting in fingerprint recognition to not work for some insiders after the latest few fights. This was also fixed, so I think this is great news. Related to display and graphics, Microsoft fixed an issue which could cause the project pane to not appear after pressing Windows plus P. Also related to the Xbox full screen experience for PC, for insiders with this new experience, the virtual keyboard should now show properly when needed for control users on devices without a touchscreen. And also some other fixes. Microsoft fixed an issue in the previous slide, which was leading to some insiders seeing a bug check with error driver IRQL dot less or equal when using a controller. And they also fixed an underlying issue that could lead to your PC freezing when attempting to run Windows Terminal elevated from a non-admin account. We also have a new known issue for the file explorer. Microsoft is still working on the fix for an issue where opening the context menu is causing Explorer.exe to crash for some insiders after the previous flight. So if you encounter this, know that Microsoft is working on fixing this. Of course, 
course on the dev channel we also have the white flash thing or bug whatever you want to call it and Microsoft is actively working on fixing that as well. So this is pretty much it for the latest preview build for Windows 11 25 H2 on the dev and on the beta channels. For more information of course make sure to check out the article below the official Microsoft blog post or Phantom of Earth on Twitter or x.com for the latest hidden features. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase until next time have a nice day.